Okay guys, welcome back to another GTA 5 British video and this time around we are going back to the London Ambulance Service again. So I have this Vauxhall Zephyra in my game and this, I believe some of them are out of service now but a few years ago you might have seen them on London's roads. We are playing as the first responders today, so this is going to be even better than the ambulance fit because you guys remember back to the ambulance fit and we took literally ages to get to a call because it was such a freaking slug. Is he going to get in my car or not? That's the question. So he's not Officer Needle Dick today, he's just a Needle Dick. I'm gonna pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, I can't? Okay, that's kind of lame. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if the partner actually works with this mod or not. I'm gonna clone another player and see if it happens. I'm just showing you as it goes along, really. Seems like he doesn't want to be Jesus social. Christ. It may just be us, but in reality... Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't even know what was going on there. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, it's a very good start to the video, but anyway, um... Is he gonna get in? No, he's not. Okay, he's doing his own thing. Right, so we've got uh, information here, and what we're going to do is we haven't been assigned a call just yet. We're waiting in the ambulance station, so basically, you know, the uh, hospital waiting for something to happen. Rescue 27, respond to it. So that was a... Uh, Los Santos freeway. That was a very interesting start to the video. I apologize about that. I really thought the part is going to get inside my car. Well, it's looking a bit grim. Let's turn to uh, extra sunny. So we're gonna respond right now. It's a 999 call. The police are on scene. This is a uh, priority response. So we'll turn our lights and sirens on. So we're gonna be responding like the uh, real London ambulance first responders. It's a much faster car than the ambulance. It's still as a Fira, so it's not gonna be like a uh, rocket or anything. Almost there, just in under a mile. So we have an ETA of around, I'd say, a minute. Traffic's not that dense. This video should be quite interesting because we've been handling with some, basically, RTCs, people that have had a heart attack or stroke in the weather because of the heat stroke. Um, possibly some fights or gunshot wounds. It should be quite interesting, so it's going to be a very in-depth patrol around the city. And also, we'll probably be calling some ambulances to uh, bring the people back to the hospital once we've revived them. Or once we've stabilised the condition, because condition, obviously we're not an ambulance ourselves, we're just a uh, first responder. Would have been nice for me to have my partner with me, but uh, unfortunately it just doesn't work with this mod, he's being a rebel. So, uh, just have to file paperwork at the uh, hospital, though that's what makes him happy. We're on Interstate 1 now, the speed limit is pretty much a national speed limit. I'm going to take the hard shoulder here. I believe the uh, collision is on the motorway. Okay, standby, standby, we're now in the area. It's quite cool, you actually got the beacon that works as well on the top lights. It'd be nice if the police cars have that. But I'll be using that beacon if we go on the airport. And, oh dear, what's this? Okay, so the road seems to have been closed off. Rescue 27 huh? show Firefighters fighting with this driver. I don't know what's going on here, but apparently there's an accident and he's decided to fight the driver. Okay, so we'll turn the beacon off. Let's see what's going on here. So it's a very interesting, unique way to revive someone. Let's assess the patient. Stand back, everybody. Going to be working my magic. So, uh, we'll have a look at the patient now. I feel like it's too sunny. I really need to change the road textures because they're way too bright. But uh, we'll do that in another video. Uh, oh, he's dead. Okay. Stand by, stand by. I believe a corner is going to come at some point. I really need to change the corner van and do not worry about that. I have a, I believe it's a Volkswagen forensic investigations van coming soon. I'm going to be doing a massive change to my fleet because apparently the Met Police cars, they're going all white now. They're not silver. If you go on Google on the internet, you'll see they're using Volvos, they're using um, BM even the BMW 2s. They're buying new ones and they're painting them in white because obviously white's more popular now than grey as a car or silver. So we'll be seeing some introductions to the f new fleet very soon. And we need to call it a corner actually. So if I just force duty, hopefully the scripts won't crash with this game. Because it's a very old script, basically, and I could not try the other firefighter mod for the life of me. I could not get it to work. 
We'll turn ourselves off duty because we don't want any police calls. I'm gonna go call a coroner. Oh, okay. So um, LSPD file doesn't like working with the script. Okay, never mind that then. All right. So um, if I go update my information, update status. So annoying how the second menu comes. I really hate the Rescue second menu. It's so annoying. Show me available. So they're gonna call for this guy anyway, but it's not our job. The police will do that for us. Then we go back to the. Uh, back to the hospital basically because our shift is done shouldn't really be doing this but let's take an opportunity to turn around so we'll drive back to the hospital and basically I'm telling you about some of my uh, new fleet additions so probably to go with um, the new white police cars that are coming out I'm not thinking about the new Peugeot estate that they're using it's a pretty ugly motor and I'm not too keen on that car but you might see it added to the fleet depends Depends if I can find a decent model on the Humpster or Squire or whatever, but uh, apart from that, the paramedic stuff and the LFB stuff should stay exactly the same because they're pretty much very good models already. The ambulance, the fire engine and everything, really nice vehicles. Unfortunately, this first responder car will not be released as of yet because it's not mine to release. The original GTA 4 convert was, but this guy and my mates uh, converted to GTA 5 because I literally don't have time at the moment. And we're driving back to the city, so... Uh, Put down in the comments if you'd like to see anything new. I've been trying some new stuff, and some of you guys like it, some of you guys don't like it. I did a bouncer video. The first one was really popular. For some reason, the second one didn't take off as much. But I'm going to probably do another one soon. It's going to be really, really good. It's going to be even better than both of them put together, because I've had some more experience with the mod. And also, we might see some more airport stuff, because I know some of you guys want that on my channel. So, some good, solid armed response, and like bombing attempts and things like that. Anti-terror. Might do some airport ambulance patrolling as well, like this. So it'll be like, you know, looking for things that happen, like people get run over by airplanes or some weird shit like that. Oh my gosh, what is it with the traffic? Traffic's actually dense today. And respond to a person shot address is Red Desert Avenue, be advised PD on scene. Okay, so the late Stephen Hawkins just told us that there is a police on scene and there's someone's been shot, so we're gonna respond there right now. We go through this tunnel. And it's always about, like I say, a mile and a half away again, like the last call, so it shouldn't take too long to get there. We're not driving a slug like the uh, Sprinter Ambulance. It's ironic it's called the Sprinter, and it's very much the opposite. But this Zephyria is quite an old car now. I think they're using, they were using XC70s, and then they updated to another vehicle. I think it was an X5, I'm not sure. I don't really follow LAS stuff as much as police stuff, but uh, if I go do a bit of a Google image search, and look at the most recent, oh, you'll probably find the latest, like, latest vehicles there. So, um, should be too difficult to find. I do like this motor though, much more than the actual Sprinter Ambulance, because it's just a lot more nifty, it just looks nicer, more pleasing on the eye. I don't know why, I can't explain it. I'm thinking about doing some more classic Met stuff as well. Like, not really old, but like 10 years ago, back when they still used Jam Sandwich and like the Astras and stuff. Be considering it, but I think we'll try my new fleets first. So I know I already said I updated the fleet a, last, like, a few videos ago, I made a police station crib style tour, but we're going to have an even newer fleet coming soon. Just prepping you guys for the new content that's coming out. And we're almost there, just under half an hour. Half an hour? What am I talking about? Half a mile? I was looking at my watch as I was playing this game. Okay, so take a right turn here. Someone's been shot. I believe the ARV is on scene. Oh, I almost, I almost fell over. I forgot to tweak the handling for this car as well. Oh my days. We might do another military patrol, to be honest, because some of you guys really like that. We might do an MOD police video as well. We might include, like, diffusing bombs that have been placed around the nuclear site or the uh, army site. Standby, we're on scene. I might put the beacon out here just to let the cops know that we're here. Rescue um, actually, no point for me to be there. Show me on scene. All right, so we have the go ahead to go there. Sometimes it says do not, or, do not proceed until the police are there. But at the moment, the police are using their very crude. This guy levitating. What the hell are you doing? They're using their very crude resuscitation techniques. Get out of the way, mate. Let a professional do it. Cool. That Volvo is such a sexy vehicle. They got some even nicer Volvos coming out now, like the V90, the V60, and the V60 looks amazing. State of the art. These V70s are getting old now. Lovely cars still. This guy is still alive. We'll try and revive him. Do the best that we can. Uh, oh, he looks a bit. He looks like he's having a uh, epileptic fit. 
So uh, we're currently on Red Desert Avenue, and we're going to be revising, reviving this guy, so I'll cut this out. You'll have to watch me do this for like five whole minutes. I could do that shit for you. Can you hear that? That guy by those boxes, he's literally chatting shit. I turned the audio on, I turned this on just for you guys to hear what you're saying. You were saying something earlier on about like, buying two coffees and selling them for the price of one another. hell he was talking about. <laughs> this guy's on the high ass natural play right now, just levitating up. I think got, this guy is taking the same shit. This cop is taking the same shit as this guy over there. You're special. Cool. What the hell is he talking? I don't know what he's talking about, but I aspire to be on that guy's level of happiness. He's too drunk. He's just rambling. He's just talking shit at this point. Another fun fact about real life, it really is like GTA, when you walk past people, like I go to work and sometimes I go to uni and like I walk past people every day and like I hear them say random stuff to people, sometimes it's really funny, like you hear their conversation out of context and it sounds really weird and you would have thought it was just a game but in real life it's literally just like GTA, like people just talk shit as you walk past or drive past and it's just kind of funny. What is this guy rambling about? Oh my gosh, he's just day drinking as well, that's sad. I mean, you'd only do that if the football's on, or if you just finished your exams. So we're going to wait until he gets to around 75, and then we're going to stop doing this treatment, and we'll call an ambulance, and he should be okay. I believe we don't have to get him to 100%. Do you know, the last time I actually did the Severa video was in GTA 4 with the very same mod, so it's quite weird. I think it was around the same time as now as well, a few years ago. I literally can't hear myself think while this idiot is rambling, by the way. Okay, he's coming around now. Looks like he's stirring up. Yep, he seems okay. Why is he talking? I actually want to have a conversation with this guy. After this, I'm actually going to walk up to him and listen to what he says. I'm going to say same or something. Right, um... Lima Oscar, we're going to be calling some uh, ambulance over here. We'll call an ambulance anyway, right? You come with me, sir. Oh, damn. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I have to press enter again right after this. Right, ready? Wait till the menu comes up. We'll just press enter. I thought E was to, like, open up a menu and I didn't realise he was still a victim. That's what I mean by the script being so buggy. Enter to stop. He should be fine. So, an ambulance is coming. It's one of the sprinter ambulances, obviously. And almost there. This guy just fell down, to be honest, so we just treat it like that. I wanna, I'm more worried about that cop. How is he levitating almost a meter off the ground? That's some weird shit right there. The ambulance is here as well, I can hear it. Oh my gosh! These ambulance drivers are experts. Is he gonna knock us over? Go on, run us all over! Go on, man! He ran someone else over. Take him to the hospital. Rescue 27 patient is oh, ready no. for transport. Oh, he's not getting in my vehicle, is he? Oh my god. I thought he was gonna get in the freaking ambulance. Oh, it just shows you how buggy this script is. Okay, we'll just take him to the hospital anyway. Talk to Jesse. Yo, man. Oh, damn. Oh, man, I pressed E. I actually wanted to talk to this guy and it did this bug again. Jeez. This mod is buggy. Oh, I love the Union Jack flying in the background as well. So immersive. But the ambulance is here anyway. The paramedics are just standing there staring at me laughing. And Jesse just pissed off, didn't he? He just walked off. He didn't want to speak to me. How rude. It's like those people that seem so approachable and they just kind of ignore you when you actually speak to them. And you find out they're not as approachable as you thought. They're just like talking to themselves. Like hearing their own voice. Me available. Okay, so it says release him on scene. But actually, what I'm doing is I'm letting him go into the ambulance. I don't know why he's getting in my car still. We might have him tagged along. Okay, this is good. Right, he's, he's running away. Oh, what is he doing? Is he suicidal or something? What the hell? Jeez. What is this guy doing? He's running away from the ambulance as well. Oh, he's getting back. Okay, it's all good. Rescue 27 respond to a cardiac arrest advised person not breathing. Okay, so person's not breathing. We have a emergency call just come up. And uh, they're on South Rockford Drive, so how far is that? It's just a click away from here. Checking the right and left. I said that the wrong way round, didn't I? Let's go up here.
You can't see the indicators right now, but I'm going to fix that in the latest EMB that I'll be installing. It's just that some EMBs look really ugly in the sunset, and like the sky goes completely red. Not like the GTA 4 red sky bug, but it's just overly pink and too colourful, it really pisses me off. The amb ambient um, lighting is screwed as well, so I need to be really careful with what EMBs I use and make sure that the Rescue 27 lights don't go show crazy. On scene. Also another hint, if you're still watching the video, you may be pleased to know that I'm going to try and install some actual British cars in the traffic now, like I used to do with GTA 4. Let's see what this guy is up to. Okay, stand back. Oh, there's no one to stand back by. I'm going to call some backup as well, so if I could do that. Okay, it doesn't work with this menu. <sighs> That'll be me later on today after the amount of monster drinks I've drunk to make this video. Uh, let's. Oh, oh, it said do not call for backup. Okay, that's good. Spacebar once. That's a very scenic picture. I could actually make a YouTube thumbnail out of this. If there was more backup, of course. But uh, I'll get this guy to 50, because the last guy, he only needs to get to 50 to actually get revived. So it wasn't as bad as I thought. I've only just realised that a lot of cars and a lot of equipment has been changed now. Like, even the stuff I'm using in these videos is getting quite old, so I'm going to have to update my fleet and everything, to be honest. It's kind of sad how the Met updates their fleet every three years. You have to keep on constantly making mods or using new mods, but at the same time, who cares? It's a game. Okay, we're going to bring him around. He seems to be coming around. We're going to call some uh, backup as well for a sec. We call an ambulance. Once he's up, let's see what he looks like. Seems to be breathing. I'm just a university student, like a college student, has just uh, collapsed. I think he had way too much to drink last night. Alright, okay, let's call an ambulance. He says he's going to be okay. He assures he's okay. I've told him to walk into the hospital if he sees anything that happens, anything that he needs to, he doesn't feel well, so he should be okay there. He's given me his contact details as well. We'll update our status. Rescue 27, show me available. Quite a nifty car, to be honest. I might start doing the, um, there's a Mini Cooper that they use as well. Rescue 27, show me available. Which I think is quite cool, because, um, it's British, isn't it, and obviously Minis are kind of cool anyway. But um, I do believe LAS use a Mini at some point for one of the first responder cars. I think they trial stuff just like the Met do. Uh, let's see, anything that goes on here. Hot summer's day, heat strokes, Rescue what do you expect? 27, respond to a okay, we'll make this our this great ocean second to last call out. This will be the, um, one of the last two. Idiot. Idiot. So, um, this is going to be our last call out. And then what we'll do after that is we'll. Not last, what I'm talking about. This will be the second to last, and we'll do one more call out after that, and we'll call it a day. But, because uh, we need to savor this mod, we can't use it all the time, because the call outs are very similar. So you'll get bored of it. So I'm going to make some videos here and there, and then when there's a better one that comes out, I'll use that mod instead. Oh! Almost hit that sign over. Stand by, stand by. LAS on scene. Rescue 27, show me on scene. Copper's doing the right job, directing traffic. And we're going to be uh, going to this little accident that's happened. I don't believe it's a collision, it's an accident, so I just park myself here. Okay, it's nice how the traffic has actually stopped. Okay, it's actually my light that's doing that. Okay, never mind that. Uh, let's go see. This lady has fallen. Gonna check her pulse. So, firefighter says she's still got a pulse, which is strange. They don't usually survive these accidents as well. Most of the people in the uh, accidents, they actually die in this script, which is a bit annoying, but uh, yeah, she's dead. They're almost always dead when it comes to an RCC or an RCA. What is she doing? She's giving the guy the finger. She's actually annoying me. She's dead. Not much I could do. 
Hey, dickhead. Have a bit more respect, okay? Well, let's drive back to the city. We've got our last call. Rescue 27, show me available. The cops are going to clean up that mess and call a coroner for us because it's not our job. We have our last call. So it's about three miles, up two and a half miles away. It's on the other side of the city. I'll show you it right now. So we're going to be a bit of a drive. Quite appropriate. Respond to a person so it's going to be a proper response. Person has been shot. PD on scene. Okay, so we're going to start now. We're going to make a response. Stand by. We're at ETA. I'd say three to four minutes. I've got to be careful with this car because it could actually overturn. I haven't edited the handling lines, so I have to be driving extra carefully. It's not a bad thing because I need to be disencouraged on speeding because you've all seen the amount of pollacks I've done in some of my recent videos. I'm not saying I'm a bad driver, I'm an excellent driver. I still can't believe it was four years ago I converted this car to GTA 4. It feels like yesterday. It really was a different time. I feel like Liberty City fit this uh, theme a lot more than Los Santos does, but at the same time I really enjoy these wide roads. Because it's nice the speed on the motorway and Liberty City never had that. And there are quite a few motorways and like A roads like this around London, so it's quite realistic. Especially in North London. It's a bit of a risk we're going to do this turn now. We're just under a mile away, about half a mile away now. Oops. Standby control room, we're on scene. Someone's been shot at the petrol station. <laughs> this is Rescue rather grim. 27, show me on scene. Okay, we'll get out of our vehicle now. Where's the victim? I think they're inside the actual petrol station. Yeah, and the cops are levitating again. Okay, so we've got a witness here as well, but the police are going to be dealing with that. They're going to take statements from the shopkeeper and the CCTV cameras, and we're going to be dealing with the actual person. So hopefully he's not dead yet, he's just a lot, a lot of blood trauma. Try and stabilise his position. I need the um, defibrillator feature in this, like they had in GTA 4. Oh, he's dead, okay. Damn it. But that was a good mod. <laughs> oh, too many people died in this video, man. It's not good vibes. Well, that's it. That's done and dusted. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this um, London Ambulance video. Obviously, this poor guy didn't because he's dead. And this guy's levitating because he's high as fuck. And I'll be doing some more of these videos soon, but not all the time because the mod will get very boring. I'll try and find some better paramedic um, scripts out there or newer ones. Or if this one's updated, I'll have a look at that. But as for now, we are going to go off duty. So I'll catch you soon for some more videos. And stay tuned. Peace out.